I wanted to end with the calling of an apostle. And one of the beautiful things here in John chapter 1 is this ending of these faithful, faithful men that we've been talking about who are going to give their lives to their testimony that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And I thought of our own dear, dear prophet. For me, it was really interesting. In 2014, President, he wasn't President Nelson, he was you know, Elder Nelson at that point, gave an amazing talk about sustaining prophets which I thought was so prophetic for, you know, what he is today. And, and so he's, but he said a couple of things that I think really go well with what we are talking about here with the apostles. He says, the ways of the Lord are different from the ways of man. Man's ways remove people from office or business when they grow old or become disabled. But man's ways are not and never will be the Lord's ways. So I thought about this and thought about him <laughs> and, you know, his age and everything else. And yet he's still so spry and able to do so much. And I know in the world they would say, oh, he's too old. But he's oh, not. My gosh, it's, he sets such a high bar for us. But, but <laughs> also know. this talk that you're, you're referencing, Marianne, there was no reason for him to anticipate that he would be the prophet no. because he was an old man at that point. And now at 98, we have this vibrant man who truly, I don't think that there's a member of the church, and even those who aren't who listen to him, do not feel that we have a prophetic voice. Oh, definitely. His his words just are always so profound. And the words of the Lord, they bring light to the world, not just to the members of the church. Exactly. And he finally says, our sustaining of prophets is a personal commitment that we will do our utmost to uphold their prophetic priorities. Our sustaining is an oath-like indication mm. that we recognize their calling as a prophet to be legitimate and binding upon us. That's beautiful. I love those words, especially as we end John 1, because that is the same feeling that these men had for the Savior. Yes. You know, it was a total binding of their entire lives. I mean, literally, they all gave up their lives for their testimonies. And yet we have a prophet today, a prophet of the Lord, that we can also look to and bind ourselves to. Thank you so much for that reminder of this raising of our hand to sustain and what it means in our lives. And as we we follow through on it, we we will feel the blessing.